I, I lost friends that died. And there's a whole bunch of people that they can't account for. Lynn Wright fights to hold back tears as she remembers Monday afternoon. She and her husband, who have a home in Moore and in McAllen, made the difficult decision to leave their home after hearing the blaring sirens. It's a decision that almost put her face to face with a killer. I rolled down the window and looked over my shoulder and that's when I saw the big black tornado coming up over the hill coming at us. I saw things whirling in the tornado. Um, there was insulation from people's house that was starting to stick to our starting to stick to our car. Uh, there was stuff flying in the air, pieces of wood and, and um, shingles and different stuff like that, and it was starting to land. I, I knew we, we only had a, a little while. Lynn was able to escape the grasp of the monster storm. Many others weren't so lucky. My nephew came back later that afternoon, and he said that he saw people walking around who were impaled that had two-by-fours and other pieces of metal sticking out of their body. They didn't have shoes or socks on, and they were just wandering around. Looking back, Lynn wonders what would have happened if they would have waited just a few seconds more to leave their home, but says she can't dwell on the past, only focus on the future and helping her neighbors rebuild their lives. One step at a time. In McAllen, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.